So if you don't know, a 4D coaster is a bit of a weird roller coaster design. It's not very common around the US. The only ones that you can really find that are surprisingly common are what are known as SNS 40 free spin coasters. But there's a lot more history behind it, plus including some more different models that you probably have not heard of before from Arrow and even Intimate. So in today's video, I'll be telling you guys what is a 40 roller coaster. What's up guys, Cam here, and before we get into today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all of those notifications. And before we get into this, as you guys know, I've been posting for the past two days because, you know, I've just been busy over the weekend. I've been trying to get some new concepts up, some more video ideas, I'm trying to get a lot of things up on different channels, and you know, I just haven't really had the time to make more videos, plus I have decided that I'm going to be more upping the quality of the video was with more or less of a, a other stuff with less low quality videos being pushed out instead I might be posting a couple times a week with more with more high quality videos but that's just what I think let's get straight into this so what is a fourth dimension coaster well a fourth dimension roller coaster is a type of steel roller coaster where riders are rotated independently of the orientation of the track. By orientation of the track, they mean that other rail that I'll dive a bit into later. Generally, by a horizontal axis. By horizontal axis, they mean by the wings of the trains. If you have seen roller coasters like Gatekeeper or many of the clones of Joker or Batman the Ride, then you know what I'm talking about when it comes to the wing of the coaster. That is perpendicular to the track. The carts do not necessarily need to be fixed to an angle. It's usually more of a free spin or controlled spinning aspect of it. What is the history of an 4D coaster? John F. Maris, a corporate attorney, invented a fourth dimension roller coaster concept in 1995 and still holds six US patents relating to the technology of their spinning system. US patent 5,791,000. 256 US pass patent 6,098,549 US patent 6,227,121 patent 6,300,000 I'm not going to dive into the rest of those in this concept riders control the spinning actions themselves the fourth dimension roller coaster to be built is X2 X2 as you know is from Six Flags Magic Mountain and opened in 2002 Unfortunately, it had to be delayed, so it could not really. Well, it did open up the same year as what we know. What we know now as now turned it to aftershock at Silverwood, but that that would be. I'll dive into that in a different video. This this one was designed by Alan Schulke in 2007. Intamin launched a variation of the fourth dimension roller coaster under the name the Zack Spin, and the Zack Spin. As you guys know, was a is a really bad coaster model and still is. Status in production, first one that's ever been manufactured. 2002 number of installations, 18 manufacturers. Aerodynamics, which unfortunately went bankrupt. SNS Worldwide and Intimate. The riders Perel R4 and the restraints are over the shoulders restraints. You can't keep them in with over the lap bars, but. Let's get into the design. Aerodynamics was the first company to produce a fourth dimension roller coaster, lending its name to the ride style. The trains featured seats capable of rotating forward or backwards 360 degrees in a controlled spin. This is achieved by having four rails on the track, two spinning as per normal and two to control the spin of the seats. The two rails are controlled the spin of the seats, known as X-rails, vary in height relative to the track and the spin the train using the rack and the pinion gear mechanism. The first exhalation X was a prototype and cost aerodynamics and Six Flags itself a lot of money. And it was more of the range of 30 to 40 million dollars. It was a lot of money. And in 2002, the park sued Aerodynamics, which went into bankruptcy. Since then, Aero has been bought out by SNS Worldwide and became the company's steel coaster division. SNS Aero in 2006, a second installation, opened up at Fujiku Highland in Japan under the name Ija Nika. A third installation opened in 2012 at China Dinosaurs Park in China under the name Dino Conda. The original X coaster at Six Flags Magic Mountain reopened as X2 in 2008, with new lighter trains and improved reliability and effects. The Intamin Zaxpin 
and it was developed in response to aerodynamics. Fourth Dimension Roller Coaster, some of the main differences between Intamin and Aerodynamics SNS World Ride versions are the uncontrolled rotation of the seats, which proceeds a different ride each time, no need for an additional rail, and single cars with two riders back to back. Since these cars do not rotate around the riders but are around a common point quite far back behind their backs, this gave rise to complaints of rider discomfort. Another notable difference is the absence of any lateral movements, causing some enthusiasts to not consider the rides to be fourth dimension roller coasters due to the fact that all movements are restricted to a two-dimensional plane. The roller coaster Kernu at Lana Maki in, in Helsinki, Finland, please do not mind my pronunciation, opened in 2007 season as was the first of its kind. Later that year, Inferno opened at Terra Mita in Benidorm, Spain with a identical compact layout. In 2009, Insane opened at Grunaland, Stockholm, it's considered one of the worst roller coasters in the world. Sweden with a different track layout in 2011. The first sack spin in the United States opened at Six Flags Magic Mountain as Green Lantern First Flight. And we all know what Green Lantern First Flight was. It was an absolutely horrible ride from what I've heard. Please do not take what I say as a lot of things, but what I'm just saying is that do not trust what I'm saying. I've never rode in Green Lantern, so. I don't know what to say. The SNS Freespin. In late 2012, SNS World Ride unveiled a new concept called Freespin, which features a similar ride to the Intamin Zaxpin. Each feature features two seating rows and each row rotates independently. As the axis of rotations at the center of the mass of each guest, rider comfort is significantly improved, like with Zaxpins. Seats spin freely, but during several track sections, a system of magnets forces a controlled inversion. The first installation of a 4D free spin was Batman the Ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas in 2015. Intamin Zaxman's second generation. In 2016, Intamin announced an updated version of that like the free spin also features a vehicle with two seating rows rotating independently and an axis of rotation at the center of mass of each guest to improve rider comfort. There is a ton of installations around the world, including Batman the Ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas and Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Both are currently operating, and that's just that. Arishia at Nagashima Spa Land is an SNS World Ride 40 free spin currently operating. The Joker at Six Flags Great Adventure, Six Flags Great America, Six Flags Over Texas, and Six Flags New England open in 2016 and 2017 and are currently operating. Wonder Woman Coaster, Six Flags Mexico 2018, SNS World Ride. I'm just gonna skip. Most of these, as they're all just clones of the same roller coaster, but I'll pick up some notable ones. Dino Conda at China Dinosaur Park is a, a 2017 or 2012 SNS World Ride Fourth Dimension Roller Coaster. Ijunaika is a SNS Aero Fourth Dimension Roller Coaster at Fuji Q Highland. Inferno is a, a Intamin Zaxpin. Insane is a Intamin Zaxpin at Grunaland. And X2 is Six Flags Magic Mountain's 4D roller coaster. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all really enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.